Is your website ADA compliant? What does that even mean? If you haven't heard by now, your realtor association should be letting you know about a growing legal threat for your websites if they are not accessible to Americans with disabilities. And that is the topic of today's conversation, which is ADA compliance and how to build your website with that in mind. So what is ADA exactly? ADA or the Americans with Disabilities Act was signed back in 1990 to really provide equal opportunity for those US citizens that have disabilities. Now, back in January of 2018, it did become legal for US websites or government websites to be ADA compliant. While ADA compliance is not a legal requirement for real estate agents and brokerage websites as of the recording of this video, and it is uh, July, 2020, uh, I do want to mention that it does open you up for legal risk. And to be completely honest with you, I have seen an uptick in brokerages making it a requirement for their agents to be in ADA compliance for their websites. In fact, you should be aware of unscrupulous law firms that are actually taking advantage of this ADA compliance. Real estate companies have actually had disability discrimination lawsuits brought up against them. So with that in mind, we highly recommend getting your website ADA compliant. So what does ADA compliance look like? Please allow me to dive into that a little deeper, but you know what to do first. Make sure you click that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. And thank you so much in advance. To help you better understand ADA compliance, I have to start by explaining WCAG 2.0 guidelines and what exactly those are. WCAG stands for Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, and they've come out with a 2.0 version of what these guidelines are. There are really three main principles to these guidelines. Principle number one is to make your website perceivable. That means if you have any images on your website, you're gonna to wanna to add alternate text or captions so that it is gonna be readable to someone that is visually impaired. That also means that if you have any other multimedia like video or audio podcasts, you're gonna to wanna to have those transcribed. And lastly, if you have any additional information that's relayed by color, you're gonna to wanna to also add additional attributes. So that means that if you have a link on your website, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that link is underlined. Or if you have any urgent text, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that text is red, but also bold. This is simply because if a user is colorblind, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's easy for them to identify links or urgent messages. Principle number two is to make your website operable. This essentially means that you wanna make your website easy to navigate. You can ensure this by having a very simple navigation. It also means that titles, headings, and labels should also be very descriptive. And lastly, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you make your link text relevant. For example, if you have a link that takes a user to a page that links to San Diego properties, then you're not gonna wanna just have a link that says click here. You're gonna wanna make that link a little bit more descriptive and have it say click here to view San Diego properties. And principle three is to make your website predictable. And in real estate context, that essentially means that any written language on your website should be readable by humans. And that also means creating pages that will not mislead the user. So that means making content on those pages as concise and precise as possible. And lastly, we're gonna go back to navigation. We're gonna to want to make sure that that navigation is consistent throughout the site. So here's the big question. How do you make your website ADA compliant? One of the first things you can do to make sure your website is compliant is to give your users the ability to change the font size as well as a link to the main content of the page. Here is a really great example. Another really great step is to make sure your website is readable by screen readers. Screen readers recognize alternate text coded into the background so it can better describe to users what it sees on the screen. There are some really great tools out there like Google Lighthouse and Wave that do an audit of your website and then output a report of all of the errors. Then you can simply take that report to your web developer and have all of those issues addressed. There are essentially two levels of ADA compliance. There is the A and the AA. Without getting too much into the details, level A itemizes basic guidelines for website accessibility and level AA is full ADA compliance. I'm gonna drop the level A and AA lists or bullet points of compliance in the description below so you can get a better idea of what exactly those look like. Now to wrap things up, I just wanna give you the heads up that this should be something that you should be proactively working on. While there is no definitive guideline for real estate ADA compliance, 
I do highly recommend just doing a simple Google search and seeing what's out there. There are a ton of really great blog posts and articles that really articulate and kind of give you an idea of what ADA compliance should look like. It's definitely a good idea to protect your website and make sure that your website is accessible by those with disabilities. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and helpful. And if you did, make sure you click the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys on the next video.